People sometimes ask, well, why are wild animals and forests and jungles and things, why are they really important for humanity? That's an easy one to answer. Think oxygen to start. The uh, plants and the animals, you know, that are working in their life cycles in close concert with the plants of all kinds of ecosystems around the world are producing atmosphere. But if you destroy them, even in part, uh, you will then have changes that can be harmful to humans. There is a collapse of ecosystems and mass species extinction occurring in many parts of the world right now. So what do we do about this? I've been involved in a movement called Half Earth Project. When I proposed the solution of Half Earth for solving most of the globe's uh, environmental problems, I suggested that half of it, of the globe, be put aside for preservation and reserves or managed areas and so on. One half of the Earth set aside with a modest amount of ingenuity could save 85% of, uh, of the species. Learning what species are there and where they are in the world uh, is the first, uh, or shall we say, primary step of GIS. We need maps of the distribution of species and the ecosystems they form. Now, that's why I'm urging the Linnaean Renaissance and getting back to mapping the Earth's diversity of plants, animals, and then eventually microorganisms. Uh, this is a big, big goal, uh, or should be, of the uh, 21st century, and then on in uh, to the near future beyond that. Thank you.